This movie is an introduction to the Partmaster turning uh, software. So I've double clicked the Partmaster Decam icon from the desktop and I'm presented with the start screen. So to start a new turning program, I click this option here. The first thing that I'm presented with is a machine setup dialog. This allows me to set the units that I want to work in. I can set up a program ID. This could be a part number or a program number. The NC program number normally appears at the top of the G code file. Here we set the tool change position for a rear or a front turret, depending on what your machine tool has. A rear turret is generally an automatic machine where the turret is towards the rear of the machine, typically slanting down from the back. A front turret is normally for a uh, an older or a smaller machine tool with the turret or the tool change uh, at the front in front of the workpiece. So this is where you set up the home and the tool change position for either of those two turrets. So the way the screen is laid out is we have the main graphics area in the center. When we load um, a geometry file we'll see it here and this is where we'll see the tool path on the part. On the right hand side there's a status panel. Here we can see the position for the tool as it's moving around on the screen, the spindle speed and the feed rate that are currently in force, and the system will calculate uh, an estimated cycle time for us and we can see that here. Along the top of the screen we have the main menu where we can access all of the functions for this uh, module. Below that we have the main toolbar where we can set up things like opening, saving, setting global operations like the views and how we draw the tool. We can animate the tool, show the tool envelope, show the tool centerline and this is where we run the simulator, post processor and where we run the job. Uh, those are greyed out at the moment because there isn't any uh, commands for it to uh, process. Along the left hand side of the screen we have a window which will show us the geometry definitions where it allows us to switch on or switch off uh, any geometry. Tooling definitions are shown here and below that program operations. A program operation is things like select tool number one, machine a feature, select tool number two, machine the next feature and so on. The commands are entered into these windows via the bottom toolbar here. So from the left hand side, this is the setup dialog box that was presented to us originally. If we need to go back in and change any of the details there, that's how we do it. So typically a job consists of a number of tool definitions, a select tool command and then a series of machining operations. So for instance, if I want to define a tool, I set it here. I choose the type of tool that I want to define and then I set the parameters for that tool, the angles and so on, and then whether the tool is approaching from the front or the rear, and whether the tool is installed on the front or rear turret. This is where we give the tool a description and the tool number. If I want to go back and modify any options in these boxes, I simply double click and I can change the parameters for each one. The next thing I might like to do would be to select a tool. So this is where I set the spindle speed and the feed rate for this particular tool. We can have a constant spindle speed or constant surface speed and the feed rate can be output as feed per minute or feed per rev. And the machining operations are things like profile turning, turning, facing, grooving, tree panning, thread cutting, parting off, etc. On the right hand side of this toolbar are the miscellaneous operations. These are things like engage the tail stock, produce a bar feeds um, sequence, bring in the part catcher, insert a command and so on. Along the top of the screen at the main menu if we go to view the option that I'm looking at next is preferences. So this allows me to set up where the 
uh, files that are produced are stored and any particular options. So for instance if I have a tool file I might like to always use the last tool file that I used when I start a new job. So this will automatically save any tooling definitions that I've created here and reload them for the next time. If I go to the folders tab then this allows me to set where the output files, typically G-code files, are being stored. Normally they're stored in the same folder as the original drawing and machining program, but they can be stored on a network drive, for instance. So the user preferences are there so that you can set up how you like the system to look and any options and things that you need to set up. So that gives you uh, an overview into the Partmaster lathe system.